back to the den. It's good to see each and every one of you guys. This is a message that I've been thinking about and preparing and ready to tell you guys because there's a lot of people out here that's going to need this, and I hope it touches and blesses one of you guys out there today. Today, I'm asking the question, who are you? Have you really thought about who you are? It is a, it's a simple question, but it often turns into one of the most difficult questions we could ever ask ourselves or be asked. And have you ever thought about that? I guarantee you, if you don't know who you are, there's going to be a million people on social media, in the streets, in your community that's going to tell you who you are and tell you what they think of you and, correct and create their own version or identity for you. It's the lie identity. And it's often because we have been told so many lies. We are perpetually told these lies over and over again, so much so that we begin to believe the masses. We begin to believe the people and the lies that they tell about us, on us, and these alternate versions of what they believe we are, we begin to believe it. Why, why and why not? Why wouldn't you believe it? Because a lot of the times they're your family, your, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your uncle, friends, that will continue to tell you that, that this is who you are. You love these people. You respect these people. So why wouldn't you believe the things that they tell you that you are? But I'm going to tell you right now, that is not who you are. Those are lies. Those are lies from the enemy. These are things that the enemy will place in front of you. That way you will never be able to meet your full potential. You will be stuck in a perpetual loop of beginning to self-doubt. Self begin to believe that every every negative things that people said about me, that's who I am. And why not? Because the masses say it. Everybody on social media is saying it. All the people around me are saying it. So if they say it, everything on the Internet is true, right? That's what they say. But I'm here for, with this distinct message to tell you that that's a lie. You are so much more than the 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 picture that people are painting of you. And if you don't know this, you're going to have a hard time. This is something that I struggle with. This is something that you, a lot of times, will not understand until you begin to take your life by the reins. When you begin to turn yourself and your life over to Christ, then all those things that were messed up about you, that you thought that was messed up about you, that people talked about you, the enemy is going to bring all that stuff back up to derail the mission that you're here to do. How many of you been to a job interview and you're and you're nailing it. You're rocking. You're you're crushing the whole interview, and then the interviewer will ask you out of nowhere, "Who are you?" And you tell them, "You know, I, I like to do X, Y, Z. I, I I go out and I run and I'm a I skate or I bike and I play PlayStation." And they'll be like, "Not not what you do, but who you are. Who are you?" And it begins to turn into this back and forth thing where it's frustrating. I believe myself that the enemy is making this, your, your identity, such an issue because if more of us understand who we are, what our assignment is, what God wants us to do in this life in order to bless the people around us, in order to, to tell people our testimonies, if, if the enemy stops us from doing that, he's won. So, of course, a thing that is so simple begins to be a thing that is so hard. And I'm here to tell you, if you're thinking about being an entrepreneur and you're, you're praying to God if this is something you want to do, you're praying and ask, asking different questions about what he wants you to do in life, it's much more difficult if you don't know who you are. And a lot of the times we don't meet our potential or won't know who we are until we relinquish our own devices and turn ourselves over to God. And it's so frustrating because you get people out here just telling you that all you have to do is go get an education and then all you have to do is be a doctor or a lawyer or whatever it is that they want you to be, right? Because that's their wish for you. That's their identity for you. Their idea of being su successful is for you to do those things. And we know this is not the truth. We know this is a, a lie because how many people take themselves out of this planet because even though they are intelligent, even though they are gifted, even though they have all of these different things about them that is true, it's not what they're meant to do on this planet fully. 
and I know people tell us all the time it's not about what we like or living our passion. Uh, in some ways, I agree, and in some ways, I disagree. But there is such a thing as living and working and operating in the gifts and skills that God put you on this planet to, uh, to work under and work through. And the people on this channel are beginning to realize that, right? You're beginning to realize that you're sitting there making a lot of money working in this cubicle, but something's just not right. Something's pulling at your heart and telling you this isn't the end all be all. You know, people around you telling you that all you have to do is work these 30, 40, and now, shoot, look at us, the millennials, we, not, we might not stop working until we're 105 and continu continuing to tell us that all you have to do is work this job put money into your 401k, which are not bad things, but then you retire and then you go into the dirt. You know, that's the easy way. And a lot of you are beginning to feel that even I, if, if I'm comfortable and I, I'm in this job that is making me feel good because I'm paying my bills, I'm taking care of my responsibilities, but there's something just missing and there's something just not right. There's something that God is telling me I need to do and need to move and need to be and I just don't know what it is. And a lot of us don't know what it is because a lot of us came up in this social media world that's telling us who we need to be. We're looking at the people that are living those li those, their life identities on these yachts and, and boats and stuff that they rented out and telling you that this is what you need to do and this is what you need to look like in order to be liked and successful. And then we look at our lives and our lives aren't anything like that. And then we begin to, to question God of, about why we're even here. How is it that these negative people are out doing everything that they want to do and living the best lives and us not knowing that those are life identities as well. Those are things that are shadows that are cast on us to make us feel less than so we won't go out and, and, and reap the benefits and sow seeds of well-being into others and then we begin to wilt and, and dwindle into something that God never meant for us. I want you guys to, to, to really pray. Pray about if God wants you in the position where you're at right now. I told you and my story is my blood pressure was running sky high and I, I was good at what I did and I could almost do it to the point to where I could do it with my hands tied behind my back. And, but it wasn't for me. I was sick. I, I was upset all the time. I was uh, such a negative mood because things never changed. And it began to be a, a roller coaster of, okay, how, money, how, how much product am I I'm going to get out today? How much product am I going to get in today? I'm, am I going to be able to make the quota that I am supposed to make today? And it begins to be a repetitive cycle. And God doesn't want us to be in a position to where we're in something that's just over and over again and self-gratifying and making a corporation millions of dollars. This is not what is for us, right? Each and every one of you that, that cares about this message and listen to this message is going to understand because if you're in your if you're working through your, your God given gifts, no matter where you are, where you're working at, and the people that you come in contact with, you're going to be blessing them and they're going to be able to see that you are something different, right? They're going to see that something is different about this person and whether entrepreneurship is for you or not, and where you're either in that place that God wants you to be, people are going to see that. It starts with us giving our lives over, right? Trusting trusting God. Ephesians 1 and 5 sums, uh, sums it up as if you having faith in Christ, you are adopted into the family of such, right? So having that faith, you are adopted into a family. If what, a lot of us out here in the, in the world have families, if, if, if we do have families, they aren't worth anything or we're born into this world not having a family at all, being on the street. So how can you find... How can you find your identity if you don't have people already pouring into you, t helping you, right? That's because we have a heavenly family. We have a he heavenly father. Ephesians 1 and 5, remember that. I'll put it up on the screen. You are adopted into a new family. Having, that, having the faith and belief that we are all brothers and sisters in Christ, and those are the people that are supposed to sharpen each other, right? Iron sharpens iron. We, we don't have uh, earthly family. We're supposed to have heavenly family. That's number one. Look at, look at John chapter 1. 12 and 13. It's all centered around us being believers and, and, and having the faith in Christ to know. But we're all here on, the, on some sort of mission and supposed to have each other's back in this family of Christ. If we have a real good family friend. And I won't even say it's a friend. This is a, a, a family member. We're no longer friends. We are family and uh, brothers and sisters in Christ. Before that we ever had these discussions, I never did understand how important it is for each and every one of us to be grounded and rooted in our identity. And it's until we had the discussions, because said person is a life coach, 
a, a, a spiritual life coach, and I never did understand how much what happened to me in the past, the way things happen, you know, God bless our mothers and fathers for putting us here on this planet, and they do and have done the best they can. But in some aspects, they drop the ball, and we're just going to have to be okay with that. I know a lot of us don't like talking about mama and talk about daddy, but we don't want to talk about mama. So that's a whole nother message. But there are things that they did not, that generation did not put into us that we should have had to keep us grounded in who we are. This thing, as our identities, is so important. It's so important because who you are and you're wrestling with your identity, you won't be able to make the content that God tells you that that God tells you or wants you to make. You won't be able to to go out here and really reach people and talk to people out even outside of uh, the Word and 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 Christ. Just your your day to day. Who are you know who you are and what you're doing because every other turn you're going to have imposter syndrome heavy bouts of imposter sin, uh, syndrome, heavy bouts of depression sometimes because you feel like you have no purpose here on the planet. What's your purpose? You know, you're looking at basketball players, you're looking at football players, you look at uh, professional wrestlers. If you like that, you're looking at movie stars, and they all seem like everybody has everything together. But poor you, poor me, sitting over in the corner, not knowing who we are. We're just average or regular people, and we don't have anything to give and we don't have anything to tell anybody. We'll just sit here with the gifts that we do have, not being able to bless the people that we should be able to bless, not being able to make the money that God wants us to make because we are we are reigners over this this dominion. We do have control over our lives. We're not meant to be poor paupers. We're not meant to be to just be here sitting here doing what the 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 establishment wants us to do day by day. And that is just to be a consumer to work and then spend your money, right? If you're not paying attention to that, who loses money? If you're not if you're not paying attention to being a consumer, who's winning? Not them. And this is what I want you guys to really focus in on because this is an important message and I know a lot of people talk about, you know, being prosperous and talking about different things, that, but we don't focus in on who we are, the building blocks of who we are, you know? And we do if we don't focus in on who we are and who God wants God wants us to be, we're going to be stuck. And I'm telling you, I've been stuck. And I don't want that for you guys. There are things and missions for each and every one of us to do. It always doesn't look the way we want it to look. And it always isn't in the speed and time that in which we want it to look. But you are on mission and you will be successful. And if you do and work the ways that God wants you to work and help the people that you are meant to help you're going to do so many so many things you are bound for greater things don't listen to the internet don't listen to the, the your baby mama don't listen to your baby daddy don't listen to your mama your grandma your sister or brother that's telling you something and you know god's telling you something different we can't go any further in our careers we can't do the things we want to do without first trusting god and first being on task so i want you guys to really take that in and really believe that and really have faith that the, the things that god wants you to do the leaps of faith that he's putting you on there's reasons why you're going through it. There's reasons why there's things you need to learn in this time, in this process. As long as you stay steadfast, as long as you have belief and faith, you're going to make it. Work so much more when you got a job to do. So, guys, hopefully this touched somebody. And if it did, just let me know in the comment section. All right, guys, until next time, everybody, you have a wonderful day. I'm out.